That's fantastic. Breaking down barriers that block pathways to education. After watching that, it's clear that when educators provide ingenious hands-on opportunities with STEAM-related programs, the results can be profound and radiate across an entire community. Another shining example is Citizen Schools, a nonprofit organization founded on bringing lower-income middle school students and their communities closer together through expanded education. They recruit volunteers called citizen teachers from community businesses, civic organizations, and communities, and train them to lead apprenticeship programs. Many of them are STEAM-oriented, with expanded middle school hours during the weekdays and weekends. Joining me now, Chanel Baylor, Deputy Campus Director of the Eagle Academy. It's an all-boys citizen school in Newark, New Jersey, along with Piyush Modek, a laboratory engineer and volunteer teacher at the Eagle Academy, and Jacor Cripps, who apprenticed under uh, Piyush to build a solar car. Welcome to all of you. Piyush, I want to start with asking you to tell us about what you are doing with the kids at Eagle Academy. How are you changing lives with, for them? So um, what I do is um, I spend a one and a half hour every week uh, with the kids and I teach them about um, solar cars. That's what my apprenticeship is. And um, in the apprenticeship, what happens is we uh, teach the students to talk about uh, the engineering design process for solar cars. And uh, what that does, it helps the students um, get hands-on experience in developing engineering skills. And, and you don't come from the, the school itself. The whole point of citizen uh, citizens volunteering, you have another background <laughs> that we should be, uh, we should be uh, learning about. Share that with us. So um, I am a um, laboratory, uh, actually a manager at uh, Endomedics. It's a startup medical device company. And uh, I have been educated as a biomedical engineer and also my bachelor's in, in computer engineering. And uh, what I have learned is that you really need to develop problem solving skills early, um, uh, uh, early in this, I'm sorry, uh, uh, problem solving skills very early. And that's why I feel really strongly about coming to this program. And Chanel, as, at Eagle Academy, you bring in so many people like Piyush. And what is it that you think that the, that the boys, and we can talk about why it's an all-boys school, yes. but what do you think the boys are gaining from this kind of experience? And I'm going to ask Jacor specifically in just a moment about that. Um, so the boys are actually gaining access to those individuals. They're in those fields. So they're scientists. They are doctors or lawyers or business individuals. So the boys get to see that. It's actual tangible to them, and it's something that's more real. They're not used to seeing those type of careers. That is a key element, I think, here, because kids tend to emulate what they see. And if you haven't put people of these different kinds of academic backgrounds in front of them, how are they supposed to know? So it's Absolutely. important in your school. Absolutely. And do you find that the kids, do they gravitate to it immediately or are they a little shy about it at first? Um, sometimes they are a little bit hesitant. Um, our older kids have had citizen schools for the last three years, so they know what to expect and kind of know that process. For the sixth graders, they're kind of, you know, trying to learn what this process is like for them. But once they do uh, get to know those individuals, they do become very much used very much used to seeing those faces. Talk to me about the elements of STEAM learning that go into solar car apprenticeship. Correct. Um, so for solar cars, that's just one of the few that we have on campus. Um, that one is actually an apprenticeship that Ms. P taught and Jacor was a student in. So that one was specifically preparing the students like the process and problem solving and going through that project to design their own solar car for and, a competition. And Jacor knows that this is television, so it's show and tell. And so you brought something with you, right? Tell me what you have with you. Well, right here, this is actually the solar car that I actually made from Eagle Academy from seventh grade. And right here, this is actually the motor to empower the solar car by itself. These are the batteries, so it can power the motor to move. I brought in the solar panel because, say, if I wanted to do it outside, I didn't have to use my batteries. I could have used the solar panel because it's powered by the sun and it's a renewable resource. Now, right here, as y'all see, y'all see the 2.5. That's my gear ratios for my wheels, so I can see how fast it will move per mile. Uh, you're speaking a different language for me here. I'm not quite sure what you said, but I'm sure it works. When you when you got into this, did you think that this was something that you could really be involved with? 
No, at first, I didn't want to be in solo cars. I wanted to be in culinary arts because I like to cook. Master Weeks got on. Miss P actually helped me out and actually got me liking solo cars. And I started getting interested and interested and started actually wanting to build my own solo car. And you have to use a lot of math. Were you shy about math at first? No, because math is my favorite subject. <laughs> oh, wow, this is golden for you. And Miss P, he says that you brought him into this. You showed him something about how this can not just be something intimidating, but it can be fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely, absolutely. And do you find that the other boys, and I want to ask Chanel this specifically, is it important that you have an all-boys school? And why is that uh, so significant in this particular kind of learning? Absolutely. So Eagle Academy, the one in Newark, is one of six other Eagle Academies. The rest are in New York. But we know that from statistics that boys don't very very much do well in school, um, so they haven't been taught in a way that sets them up for success. So Eagle Academy, along with Citizen Schools, we bring in that hands-on learning. We bring in the engaging techniques that those, need, those boys need to thrive, so that's why it's really important. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you all for being here. It looks like everything is starting to pay off for the program and certainly for you, young man. <laughs> it's not surprising that Miss P has received a President's Service Award for her volunteer education work with underserved, underserved students like Jacor. Developing tomorrow's STEAM teachers and making science and math cool to kids will continue to be the central thrust of this hour of our broadcast. The benefits of activating students and as we just saw, young minds with an interest and passion for science will serve the students in school and far beyond as they advance through successful careers.